Okay, everybody, it's Emran here with True Autographs, and I am unboxing 50 plus cards that I did for a submission to BGS. We got some good stuff going on, and I thought I'd throw on Instagram Live, and I've never done this before. So let's see how it goes. It's been a while since I put any kind of effort into doing anything for True Autographs on Instagram, so this hopefully will start something that we're going to continue doing over and over again. So I'll leave it up and running live. So we have 50 plus cards here, and I'm going to start from the right hand side, my right hand side, and uh, show you what we got. So we'll start with this top one. This is a Baker Mayfield Metal Draft autograph. This one uh, I submitted, I thought it was pretty clean. So we'll see what the 9 5, 9 5 centering surface, corners 10, it is 10. Becca autograph 10. This is going to go for sale on. Ebay. Good looking card. Next up, Devin Singletary. You can already see that because it's silver, that it's not a 9 5. So we already know that it's a 9 or lower. This is number to 10. Number 8 of 10. Devin Singletary autograph rookie with prism. Boom. 9. Centering and corners are nine, edges are nine five, surface nine five. So we're one half point away. Either corners or centering that would have given me a nine five. This will go for sale, obviously, on the eBay store. Next up, again, because it's silver, we know that it's definitely not a nine five. However, this is a cool card. This is a Russell Wilson baseball card uh, that he signed. There's only five of them in the world, so I got one of them here. Let's look at what the grade would be. Panini Black Friday Collection Autograph. It's Russell Wilson, number to five. This is number three of five. Number three of five. It's a nine with a 10 autograph. Really cool card. I picked this up in a collection. And uh, that was a hell of a deal that I paid for it. Corners eight five. That's what prevents us from getting that gem mint. Beautiful card through Panini Black Friday. Going for sale on my eBay. Ebay is, strangely enough, Hottie Pilati, P-O-L-A-D-I. All right, here's a really great card. Hunter Bishop. This is going to be a uh, Bowman Chrome Green. 9.5 at least, right? Because it's gold. So let's look here. Boom. 9.5 Gen Mint, 10 on the autograph. Numbered to 99. This is number 97 of 99. Centering. 9.5, corners 9.5, edges 9.5, surface 9. I wish that would have been a true gem, but this is probably a four or five hundred dollar card now. Hunter Bishop, hot prospect for the for the Giants. For sale. Anti Zizich. This is a four or five green out of Prism. I picked this up in a collection. Uh, I, he's not even that good. I just thought. <clears throat> this would be kind of cool to make sure that I have here. And this is going to be a 9 mint. Surface is 8.5 that prevents it from being a little bit better. Great card though. Numbered out of 5. Cool stuff. Obviously for sale. Giannis onto Jacumpo. This is going to be, uh, for those of you that are not familiar with Beckett, this here, that means that it's going to be not, <laughs> it's not a mint, it's not a gem mint, it's not a pristine, it's definitely lower than all that. So whenever you see that white label behind, you know that it's not. This is a Giannis out of SB Authentic. The rookie is an 8 near mint. Surface sucks, that's why. Oh, our tiny Archibald. Exciting stuff. <laughs> Leave it to a Hall of Fame basketball player to tell me that this is exciting stuff. That is definitely for sale. Okay, Ronald Acuna Jr. Platinum Pieces Autograph Relic Card from 2019 Platinum Baseball. You can already see the autograph is a 9. Most of the top stuff is going to be um, on card autos. So this is going to be on there. 
So has a piece of relic and his autograph. We know that it's probably going to be a 9, which it is. Centering 9, corners 9, 5, surface and edges. Why is it, why is it a 9 on the autograph? It's number 10 of 50. It's because the last part is going off the sticker. So this is a sticker. Oh well. Sacramento Kings fan over here. Emrin with True Autographs. And this is a guy, get it, who was supposed to be uh, playing for the Kings this year. He spent most of the time here. I'm from Stockton, California, which we have the Stockton Kings, which is their G League team. He's been killing it on the G League team, but hasn't had a chance. To, one of ten. This is the gold, the gold prism. So this is the Kyle guy. Prism's draft. Nine mint Beckett autograph nine. Again, anytime that you see like an autograph that goes off the sticker, like this one here at the bottom, you'll see how it goes off the sticker. Beckett will hit that and say that that is not a quality autograph. Nine five nine five nine five edges eight point five. Not much that we could do on the edges. It's just what it is. But still one of ten. Not bad. Okay, so I submitted three of these. Let's see if they're in order. One, two, three. Yep, I have three of them, so I'll pull them out. So we have, um, there are ten total of the Josh Allen, Josh Rosen autographs. These are gold. They're numbered to ten. And uh, you can see right here, I have three of the ten of them total. So I may wait and try to collect all ten if possible, but... Let's look at this. So we know that it's not a gem mint, so this is going to be a <clears throat> dual autograph, Josh Allen, Josh Rosen. Who knows where the hell Josh Rosen is going to be playing this year. He's with Miami, kind of. 2018 Penny Contenders Round Numbers Dual Auto. Allen Rosen centering 9.5, surface 9.5, edges 9, corners 8.5. And whose autograph screws this up on the 9? It's the Josh Allen at the top left there. So that's one of them. Oh, this one is numbered uh, 1 of 10. The second one is a gem mint. You can see at least, if not a, if not a uh, pristine gem mint. 959595. Nine, nine, Corners are a 9. Beckett autograph 10. So I'm half a grade away from true gem. This is number 2 of 10. So there's 1 of 10. Here's 2 of 10. This is a gem mint. And then here's Gem Mint or Pristine here, because we know the gold label. Boom. Autograph 9. Damn. Centering 10, surface and edges 9.5, corners are 9. Becca Autograph 9, why? Because Josh can't, Josh Allen can't sign inside of a sticker. Still better than some of those half ass autographs that you'll see by players who are doing the stickers. This is it number 6 of 10? So we got 1 of 10, 2 of 10, 6 of 10. I own 3 of the 10 in the world. Pretty cool stuff. Those will maybe be for sale. I don't know yet. Then finally in the first stack, this is a hot ass card. I love this card. This is a Cody Bellinger Gold. Bowman Chrome 2017. You can see it's number 40 of 50 right there. And what I love is that it's gold label already. Uh, I picked up this card for about $450. And now that I know that it's at least a gold label, I know that they're selling on eBay somewhere around $1,800 to $2,000 that are gem mint. So let's get a pristine if possible. Let's look at it. One, two, please be pristine. Duh. Who gives a shit? That's a that is a true gem. Nine five on all subs. Nine five. Beckett autograph ten. Cody Bellinger on card auto gold. Absolutely sick. Love this. So four fifty is what I paid for this card. Um, 
sub was about 25 bucks and beautifully came back a 9.5 true gem this is a great card I may hold it until the season I may sell it if I get the right offer this is hot stuff right here true gem I'm gonna leave it up here right now I'm gonna move these cards out the way stack number two again I'm opening a Beckett I'm opening a BGS submission that I did of 50 plus cards. There is a hot, hot card in here that you're about to see in a little bit. Um, it's a LeBron Auto, and I'm going to share that with you guys in a little bit. All right, here we go. We know that it's probably a silver, which means a, which means a mint. This is a Fernando Tatis, number to 50, 2019 gold. It's the Tops update. It's a silver pack chrome gold refractor Tatis. Surface, corners, and centering nine, edges nine five. Mint. Definitely for sale. I'll put all my stuff on eBay, excuse me, on eBay after I do uh, post them on Instagram, seeing if I can save some fees and get you guys to start following true autographs and spending some time with a 10. We've got a 10 Beckett autograph. This is a Michael Gallup, number two of 10. It's out of select. It is a patch auto. Michael Gallup, 9.5, true gem. 9.5 is on all subs. 2018 select jumbo rookie signature swatches, prism gold of Gallup, number to 10. Beautiful. I'm already disappointed because I was really thinking this card was going to do well. TJ Watt, this is out of Donner's Optic. It's the blue, hollow, number to 75. This is 72 of 75. 8-5, 9 autograph. That sucks. Why is it a 9? It's because his big swoop at the bottom there goes off of the sticker. I hate these damn stickers. A5 corners, 8 centering. What do you mean 8 centering? That looks more centered than most stuff. 8 centering. Oh well, we should slide. Paper holiday edition card to kaboom. Number out of ten. Boom. Kaboom. Nine five. Surface edges and centering nine fives. This is number two seven of ten. Gem mint. Beautiful card. I'm looking forward to seeing him play this year eventually. Card to kaboom. The Holiday Series. Okay, one of our favorites. Oh, shit. I just saw the big card. Let me just leave this right here. We'll deal with that a little bit later. Patrick Mahomes Rookie Threads. This is a 2017. This has the Player One Relic out of Optic Football. We know that it's at least a 9.5. And it is Patrick Mahomes Rookie Threads. This is for sale. Uh, rookie Threads. 959595 nine, 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 except for edges 9 it's a gem mint it is for sale love this card here's a hard one that you are very rarely see Lamar Jackson Don Russ football this is the die cut numbered out of 75 this is going to be at least a gem mint because of the gold so let's look 2018 Donruss Press Proof Silver Die Cut, Lamar numbered 18 of 75. It is a Gem Mint 9.5. I knew this card was good as soon as I saw it. I'm often wrong. Don't think that I know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, John Collins Blue. Numbered out of 199, this is his rookie. I think John Collins is so underrated. Dude was like 20 and 10 before we went to the quarantine break. It's going to be a mint likely. 
and it is. It's a John Collins Blue Prism rookie. 9.5 on centering and edges, 9 on corners and surface. A half grade away from a 9.5. Damn. Love these cards. Here's one that I knew was just screwed up all the shit, but I knew that we would just need to have it slabbed to protect it. This is a Frank Robinson rookie. I believe it's 1959. Yes, it is. Out of tops. Round, round, round corners. It's got a bend in it. I really didn't care. I just wanted it slabbed, and it is, and <laughs> it's poor. But it is a Frank Robinson rookie. It's got bends all through it. I didn't care. I just wanted it slabbed. And for 10 bucks or whatever I paid for it, 12 bucks. It's worth slapping me. Put this to the side. Let's pull out one of the icon cards in our industry. The Ken Griffey Jr. 1989 upper deck rookie number one. Often the 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 um Hologram is the reason why people get a 9 or a 10 or a 9.5, but it's always the hologram. In this case, you can see that it's not very centered, probably 75-25, but it's silver. 8.5 near mint, centering is an 8, edges and surface 8.5, and corners 9.5. One of the most iconic cards ever. 8-5 on the Griffey. Jose Altuve. This is going to be the 2010 Bowman Chrome Prospects. Altuve Silver Label. It is a 9. That's weird. Centering edges and corners, 9-5. Surface, 8-5, but they give you a 9. Well, I guess it's not weird. Surface, you can't have a gem with a surface of less than nine. Banging on some trash cans. Jose Altuve. You're probably wondering why I'm holding these two over here. Because they're hot ass cards. I'll show you right now. That Bellinger is just going to sit there for a minute. In fact, I'm going to take these two cards and put them on the bottom of this list here. These are all for sale. What up, Dr. IP Autographs, Dr. In-Person Autographs? All right. Luka Doncic, Optic. We know that this is going to be not a gem because of the silver. So, Blue Velocity Optic, Luka, not numbered, but still a really awesome card. Gem, excuse me, this is a 9 Everything except for Surface was a gem. Still a cool card. Still love it. All right, LeBron James. It's a gem. We know that for a fact. This is out of the Don Russ basketball. This should be the laser one that I ended up getting, uh, like a pink laser. Boom. Hollow pink laser. G True gem mint. Nine fives all the way around. This is really hard to get in this. Hollows on Don Russ are tough. Gorgeous card though. For sale. Okay, I had three Zions that I turned in. You could already see that this one is going to be a mint. So Zion. Oh. I forgot that this was in there. We've got the green. The green retail version of it. Prism's green, number 248 Zion. I knew this this was not going to be a 9.5 no matter what because of the centering. And centering shows that. nine. Or excuse me, 8.5 on the centering, 9 on edges. Gems on the other two. I picked this card up for $90. But it was a while ago, but I picked it up for 90 bucks on eBay. Here's a Zion. It's a gem, at least. Zion base rookie. Oh, I don't even know what I'm subbing half the time. Red, white, and blue. Gem. 
Centering is the 9. Everything else is a 9-5. I don't know. That's weird. Like, is it really that much difference in centering 8-5 versus 9? Still, four, five, six hundred dollar card right there. Barry Sanders, eighty nine score. This is awesome because this is definitely a gem at least. Bam, nineteen eighty nine. Barry Sanders, gem mint. I don't think I'm gonna sell this one. That's weird. It says that it's nine five centering, but look at the top to bottom. It's like it's like sixty forty. But I don't actually care because I'm a Gem Mint Barry Sanders rookie. Beautiful card. Oh, look at that. Look at the top to bottom. Weird. Troy Aikman, 89. 89 score. Troy Aikman, 9. Centering is the only thing that is an 8-5. Everything else is a 9-5. So subs are good, though. Mint 9 out of the 89 score. I love this card. And it's perfect timing. This is going to be the orange Topps Chrome Refractor of Rob Gronkowski. It is at least a gem. Um, Hot on this card and boom. 9 5 on everything except for surface. It's a gorgeous card. Weirdly enough, I bought an entire collection and this was in like a random box in just a penny sleeve. And I looked at it, I was like, man, the centering looks great, it looks awesome. I'll clean it real quick and then send it off. 9 5. This is a three four hundred dollar card. And uh, with him coming back with the Tampa Bay Bucks, this is definitely going to be one of the hot cards of 2020. Patrick Mahomes, silver, 2017 prism. All of them are hollows because there was no rookies that were not hollow, as people may know. 8-5, surface is an 8. What I do, step on it. Centering edges 8-5, corners 9-5. I'm shocked that they kept it at 8-5, which is good. I'm just trying to check out the centering here. I guess. Still a beautiful card and will be for sale. Every card will be for sale in here, except for two, which is likely that Bellinger that you're seeing up there at the top. And one more really awesome card. Oh, I'm just looking at it. This is a LeBron James 2017-18. Uh, Prism, number to 125. This is a fast break. The fast break red. LeBron James. 9-5 on everything except for surface. There's our gem mint. Luca, now Luca Optic. This is a gem at least. Gem Mint. Everything except for surface. Luca Optic. Rated rookie. Uh, but this one, this is going to be hoops. The base of hoops has gone crazy. People are buying this thing up. At least a gem. Here we go. 9-5 gem mint, centering 10, edges 9. Everybody's hot on Luca. If you have a chance, just sub, sub everything Luca that you can sub. Why not? When we see him again, when we start playing again, you know everybody's going to be jumping all over this. Trey Young, number to 125, Prism Rookie. This is going to be the, the red one. Uh, we know it's not a gem, but... Let's see what it is. Nine. It's still pretty good. Centering edges and corners. Nine five. Surface was the only eight. Um, 
I don't know if you can see it, but there's a print line that goes right across here, right where his knee is. That's likely what the reason is. Trey Young base rookie. It's at least a gem. Here we go. Gem mint 9.5. Everything except for surface. Trey Young base 9.5. Some people are subbing these without the subgrades. I just feel like, why not just spend a little bit more and get the subgrades? Because you know that your true gems are going to get more money for it. Trey Young Optic. This is going to be a shimmer. So here's the Fast Break Hollow. A 9, everything except for centering. Which weirdly enough looks pretty centered to me. Let's look at the back. Crazy. They say 8.5 on the centering, but look at this. It doesn't look bad to me. I'm going to move this out of the way. Michael Jordan. Tonight is the final two episodes of Last Dance. So I wanted to get my Jordan graded. The back you can see is kind of like, but I knew that the centering was going to be off because it's off as hell in the front. Six, five. Centering, 5.5. Edges, 9.5. Corners, 9.5. Surface, 7. That centering just is, it sucks. But I found it in one of my boxes. For sale. Let's do a LeBron James rookie card. This is the tops. This card has been going crazy over the last few months. We know it's at least a mint. 200304 tops. LeBron James number 221 holding his jersey. It's a 9. Corners and edges 9.5. Centering 8.5. Surface 9. Centering 8.5. I subbed a bunch of smaller LeBron rookies you can see here. Here's one of them. It's at least a nine. It is the Upper Deck 301 LeBron James. Nine mint. Centering corners nine. Edges surface nine five. The star rookie. Low end, but still a good card to have. John Morant. Hyper. I know for a fact that this front uh, of the card is not centered, so that's probably why it's a 9, so let's look at it. Oh, they weren't so brutal on that. So they say a 9 on the centering, but if you look, you can see that it's more, I thought this would be an 8.5 on centering. Surface 9, corners and edges 9.5s. End up with a mint job hyper prism. I'm cool with that. There's another Zion that I have. This I think I, I said three base Zions. This is at least a mint, not more than that, and it is nine five on everything except for surface, which is an eight five. I don't know what nines are going for. If you guys know, let me know. And here's another one that I have. Okay, good. I can see a gold label. Zion there. Okay, this one nine five on everything except for surface eight. Crazy. Check this out. So surface eight five on this one, surface eight on this one. They still gave me a nine on both. I would think that it was a surface eight, they'd drop you at a nine uh, eight five, but they didn't. I'm cool with that. And then the third and final base Zion that I did was up oh, true gem. Nine fives all the way around. Nine fives all the way around on this base.
This will be for sale, obviously. LeBron James, at least a gem. We know that this is a silver hollow, a silver prism, sorry, of this year. Ooh. Centering 10, corners 9, 5, edges 9, 5, surface 9. I always get my cards cleaned right before this, and usually the surface will bump a half. So this was worth it. I think these are closing somewhere between 250 and 350 on eBay. There was a random one that I got, but I'm glad that I subbed it because of the gem. Carson Edwards, number to 35 out of Prism. Better than True Gem. Centering corners and surface, nine fives all the way around. Edges 10. The purple pulsar. Number 435. Damn it. I was hoping that this would. Well, let's start from the beginning. This is Origins of this year. Very, very difficult because of all the chipping that's on the sides. And you can already see right there, it's a little bit white. Maybe you can see it. It's been this way. We know it's a mint. Hopefully it's not an 8.5 and it's a 9. Yes, 9. Numbered to 35. This is number 33 of 35. Origins, Zion. Corners, 8.5, which is to be expected. There's always whites on the corners of Origins. Um, so I'm cool with a 9. Here's another LeBron rookie lower end. Mint 9. Centering in corners 9, edges and surface 9 fives. Another star rookie out of the upper deck 0304. Okay, I'm going to move this out the way. All right, team, just to let you know, this card is a hot one. Very difficult to find. This is the second year, actually third year, LeBron James. This is 05, 06 tops chrome. This is a refractor, black refractor, numbered to 399. This is 242 to 399. This is not my card. This is a friend of mine's card. He wanted this graded. I said I would take care of it for you. The black refractor so tough to get. 8-5. Surface 8-5, corners and edges 9-5, centering 8-5. Just as a heads up. I got this card cleaned. It looked really messy on the surface. And it's still got an 8.5. So that tells you after cleaning it just how difficult these tops chrome black refractors are. They show up every little nick and scratch. Such a beautiful card though. Twenty twelve, twenty thirteen, Panini Prism, Anthony Davis. Oh, shows a nine five. It's not. It is a nine. Centering edges and corners all nine five, and the surface is what sucks. Eight on the surface that prevents it from being a nine five. I wonder if it was an eight five. Would it have been? I just looked at it. I mean, Giannis, 2013-14, SP Authentic Rookie. Corners 9, centering edges, and surface 10, 9595. Five. It's a gem mint. These are an affordable option for people for a Giannis rookie. And I saved the best two for last. So if you stuck around through this entire video, it was worth it, I hope. Here's a Zion Williamson draft picks. Number 64. It's numbered out of 25. It's a blue camo. Number 12 of 25. Bam. Gem Min 9.5. Everything's 9.5 except for centering. 
This is a gorgeous card. I got this card for less than 150 bucks. Nine fives have been closing between 800 and 1100 dollars. <coughs> Excuse me. And finally, you can already see it through the acetate. This is out of 2005-06. We'll make sure. Yep, 0506 Upper Deck Trilogy. This is a clear acetate LeBron James autograph. Autograph is a nine, even though it's on card. Bang. Gem Mint 9-5. <coughs> Trilogy. LeBron James. That is it. That is the unboxing of 50 plus cards when it comes to the most recent BGS sub. I've been subbing a bunch of stuff to um, SGC. They should be finishing this week. Um, and I'm just happy with what came back from this BGS sub. I wish that the Zions had popped a little bit higher instead of so many nines, but good stuff available on the website. You can go to trueautographs.com, buygradedcards.com, or just go to uh, my eBay, which is Hottie Pilati, H-O-T-T-I-E-P-O-L-A-D-I. That's my last name, and these will be available soon. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Talk to you soon.